Hi everyone. In one of our previous videos, we briefly introduced Canva.com. In today's video, we are going to look further into just how useful this website can be to create lyric slides, announcements, and place markers. It's especially useful if design is not something that you have a lot of experience with. It's a very user-friendly platform and it's free. So let's look at some examples together. Here we are on the main page. So what Canva offers are hundreds of pre-designed templates. The templates are categorized, for example, presentation, Facebook post, poster, and so on, just to name a few. And this is important to know because templates are sized to fit specific specifications. So a Facebook post template, for example, is sized so that it will correctly fit the specifications that Facebook has designed for their posts. You can see as I scroll through the many, many options for pre-designed templates to choose from. So our next step is to choose a template that we like and then adjust the information as necessary. Here is one presentation template I selected. To adjust the text that is there, simply click on the text, highlight it and type in what you want to use. So maybe I'm looking for a slide ahead of the scripture reading. Now this text no longer fits, but just like a word program that many of us are more familiar with, we can make all sorts of changes to the text. Simply highlight it. Up above here, we can adjust the size of the text. If I highlight it again, up above here, I can change the font that I want to use. I can change the size of the box that the, the text is in to give more space. I can move that text box around. When you see these um, horizontal and vertical uh, purple lines, you know that your uh, text box is centered again in the middle of your graphic. On the right, I can select this text box, do the same thing, maybe include my scripture reference and make any adjustments to the text that I want. I have no need for the text here on the left, so you simply highlight the text box and delete it. You can also adjust the color of your font as well as the color of some of those background graphics. Simply click on the graphic in the top left corner and go to this color box and here you can see lots of colors that you can change your background to. In this example, I've created a Facebook cover photo based on a template. I put in the text that I wanted and simply replace the picture provided with one of the core. To upload your own picture, simply click on uploads on the left part of the screen, select upload an image or video, and then choose from your files. Once you've uploaded your picture, simply drag it onto your created slide. With any images, text boxes, or other graphics you add, you can move them around the presentation. You can also adjust the size as I'm showing you here. I'm showing you this blank slide just to easily highlight some of the other features that Canva offers. These can all be added and adjusted to any template that you choose. Besides the text adjustments and uploading your own photos, Canva offers their own generic photos that you can use. Maybe a laptop picture like this, might be beneficial if you're advertising a Zoom Bible study. They offer various elements, shapes, or graphics to add. You simply have to drag those onto your presentation. And just like everything else we've looked at today so far, you can adjust the color, you can adjust size. If you right click here, you can adjust where the images are placed um, on top of one another. If you look across the top, you can adjust transparency, you can flip your images and crop them. So there's so much you can do as you start to explore uh, Canva. They also have many backgrounds you can choose from, some that will be really effective as the background for uh, your lyric slides. And so we've only touched on a few of the things that you can do within Canva, but so much more that you can explore. Once you've finished adjusting your design, simply download it in the format that's applicable to your situation and you're done. And there you have it, a little more about canva.com, another great tool that you can use as you continue to build church from home.